Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TonePure.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the new Contact 7. So we can go ahead and add a track and then you pick from your list of plugins Contact 7 and when you do you get this track and let's go ahead and open it up. And when we do, we can get this view, or if you click on this icon up here, you get this view. Now, this is a new thing. It displays all of your contact libraries in alphabetical order. So we have A all the way up to X in this case. I don't have any Zs. And so it's easy to find a library. That way you can, of course, search for a library using the search command up here. But the thing that sets us apart is if I click on any of the instruments, suppose I click on this first one, it lists all of the presets available for that instrument. And by clicking on a preset, it gives you a sample of what that preset sounds like. And then when you're done, go down where it says hide presets, and then you can start on another one. So that's one of the things, like here's action strings. Click on that. Here's all your presets in all banks, but you can also just look at, let's say the arpeggio bank. And then there you can see there's 24 presets in the arpeggio bank. In the basic bank, we have 28. And then if you click on it, you get a sample. Now, of course, in Contact 7, it's just going to show your libraries that are contact libraries. It won't show you, of course, any um, East-West libraries, Play libraries, Opus libraries, or VSL libraries, or other third-party libraries that are not uh, contact-based. So now another thing, in addition to clicking a library and finding out what presets are available, let's go ahead and hide these 28 down here. So if I pick on, say, here's the Afflatus string library. It's giving me all banks of that, and there are 260 presets all together. And then if I choose the orchestra strings, this comes up. And then I can close this out. And then once I do that, if I click back here, then I'm back to this view. And then, of course, we can click on these presets. We're still in a flatus here. As you can see, it's highlighted here and it's sort of spelled out there. By the way, we can enlarge our library, enlarge our view. And now we have like 79,000 presets. So I'll go ahead and click that. So now another thing you can do, which is pretty amazing, we have sound type and character. So sound type, we have all of these categories up here, like here's ambience, and then it will highlight a couple of, or as many libraries as it determines you have that are ambient. And then if you show the presets, here they are, here's one. But, and these are coming from the Ash Light and the Stray Light libraries. Now you probably have other libraries in your collection that are also ambient, but this is the particular one that's choosing. Now if we go to character and we Click up here where it says ambient. That'll take that choice away. 
So under character, they have um, all of these various descriptions, distorted drums. Now, for example, if you just want to look at, uh, say, vocal, click on that, and it's giving us various libraries that have vocal presets. And then if I click on this, it'll show the presets. And then if I double click, it'll show me which one of these libraries this preset comes from. So in this case, it's Mysteria. And so if I close that out and go back to the overview, I'll go ahead and hide these presets. And then up here, I'll go ahead and click on Vocal to eliminate that descriptor. And then uh, probably a, a useful one if you want to look at uh, drums, for example, this will get most of your libraries that have drum patches. And you can see there we've got 6,550. These are some of the libraries you see that actually have drum patches. Here's Signal. And sure enough, it actually has a, a drum patch. And then, of course, Metropolitan Arc 1 has percussion. And then just click on the descriptor and you hear it. Here's Arc 4, has the low drums, and so on. So you have these sound types or like here's piano keys. Everyone is always looking for piano keys. And actually, let's go ahead and make sure we have everything off. So I'll go ahead and go click on here and make sure nothing's loaded in there. And so by clicking on piano keys, we get some Okay, this is still met this is still a metropolis arc. So and look at all the presets we have. 2741, there's Alicia Keys. And again, if you double click on the preset, then the library will come up. That you're referencing so clearly giant has those kinds of presets being a key library so we'll close this out okay so notice we have six seventy nine thousand two hundred and seventy presets showing that's because none of the libraries are selected if i select say this library here abbey roads 80 drums then we have 16 presets and if i click on it again then we're back to the all the presets and all the libraries that i have at this point so if i let's get into uh, another thing to notice if i click on flute then i get all the libraries that contact thinks have flute patches in them Okay. Not to say there might be some other library that I have that actually has those patches, but these for sure do. And if I click on, let's say, a particular patch, so right now if, if I select Albion 5, then it limits it to 40 that it would be flute patches in the Albion 5. And if I just click on a patch, and I'm not sure which library that's coming from, I can click on the info, and it tells me the name of the library. In this case, it would be Sinwin's Core, and that's the actual um, preset within Sinwin's Core. So 
clicking back on the info, it brings me back to the all of the presets. Here's another one. And so if I want to find out what library that came from, I could double click on it and actually look at the library, or I can just go here and see it's coming from Met Metropolis Arc 4. So that's another useful thing to use is this information icon to tell you what the library is coming, what the product is, the actual manufacturer, in this case, orchestral tools. And, um, and if I want to get more into, let's say, Metropolis Arc 4, then I could just search for Metropolis Arc. And there it is. And then I would see all the presets. It has 90 different presets. And so you can see there's flutes in there and so on. And any other presets you want. There's trumpet presets. Piccolo, flutter. And so on. So that's one of the other important things to know is that information pain can tell you where the patch is coming from. So you have all of these categories and it searches through all your libraries and looks for the presets that you're describing. If it's an ambience of bass, for example, like here's bass. So all these libraries have bass presets. All together we have 2,614 of them. Modulation. Okay, there's a, I'm sure we have more libraries with modulation, but it's, it's just showing some. So you can't assume this is totally comprehensive, but it's amazing. Here's, it's found 10,110 presets for percussion. And then it lists all the libraries that it's, that you're getting percussion from. For example, if I were to click on contact, then we see we have 25 presets. And then if I want to see what the library looks like that it's referencing, I double click and there it is. It's um, this particular acoustic library. So I'll close that out. So, and it's, it's remarkable, all the various libraries it does pick. So right now we have percussion selected, double click, goes away, then hide these presets, and we're back to our, our general list of libraries. And then if you click on it again, then you get a very similar contact six or five, as far as that goes display of all your libraries unsorted in uh, various orders. And then you sort of have to scroll through those to find out what you've got. So much better when you have an overview of your libraries like this. And then in particular, I guess one of the nice things about it is if you click on one of your libraries, it gives you all of the presets in all banks if you want, or you can select which banks you want. Okay, so for example, I clicked on Action Strings 2. So if I were go to go to the actual Action 2 Strings library by clicking on one of the presets, double clicking actually, then we see the actual interface and then you could actually well let's go up here and type in action strings Oops.
two. Okay, I'll close this out for a second. And really, when you click on action strings, all you see is just this one NKI file. And then in order to get your presets, you click down here. So what it's doing is giving you all of these presets according to the various banks, basic, melodic. So let's close this out. Go to our overview. Okay, we have action strings selected. Now look at your banks. So there you have your basic, your diatonic, your template, and so on. So, and then all banks. So it gives you all of these banks that are readily accessible. So it gives you a quicker overview of your libraries. Again, you can search for things like here's organ, for example. These are all libraries that have organ patches. We have 480. Okay. And there's surprises, right? You really made out of thought that um, the orchestra complete had an organ patch in it. And then if you click on that, there you see the patches that it has. So it's um, a pretty amazing organizational tool for your contact libraries. So any questions in the uh, comments, just leave those or any observations. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from TonePure.com.